Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antioch and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, January 15th, 2021, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses 22 through 26, and then chapter 6, verses 1 through 2. Brethren, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us have no self-conceit, no provoking of one another, no envy of one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Look to yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. And today's Gospel is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 32 through 40. The Lord said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Provide yourselves with purses that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let your loins be girded and your lamps burning, and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the marriage feast, so that they may open to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly, I say to you, He will gird himself and will have them sit at table, and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. So when we hear both readings today, I think there is one important message that we can take with us. There is no vacation from being a Christian. There is no time that we can think, well, I can just take my ease and I can just do as I want. I can get away with stuff and then later on I can repent for it or be forgiven or whatever. That is a terrible mistake to make because as our Lord says in the gospel today, He comes like a thief in the night. And so it's important for us to be vigilant, to be focused on what our responsibilities truly are, as opposed to just letting things happen as they will and then scrambling at the end to catch up. There's that important message that we see. First of all, we see the idea of where your treasure is that your heart will be also, which we also saw in the Gospel of Matthew. But later, what is he saying? Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Third hour, second hour, those are watches of the night. Could come in the evening, could come late at night, early, early in the dawn's early light. He can come at any time. And so we must be vigilant and prepared. And listen to the beautiful thing. He says he will gird himself and have them sit at table. He will welcome them as his own guests if they are ready and they let him in after the marriage feast. He will treat them beautifully and cordially if they are prepared for his arrival. If they are not, it would be a shame. It would be sad. And so what is it that we need to do? Well, that would be found in what we see in the epistle today. Bearing in our actions and in our words and in our thoughts the spirit of love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are excellent qualities, virtues that we should embody in every day of our lives, in everything that we do, in the way in which we live. All of those things should be practiced so that we may be found worthy and welcomed as sons and daughters of the Most High God. He says later in the epistle, do not provoke one another, do not envy one another, because such things are pointless. 
And if anyone does happen to tra trespass, commit a sin or an error of some sort, you restore him in a spirit of gentleness. And make sure that we care after our own temptations and our own vices, lest we end up being tempted and find ourselves falling into the same traps that other people fall into. In this beautiful statement, bear one another's burdens. We are not called to endure this life on our own. We are called to help each other, to lift each other up, not to condemn, not to criticize, not to mock, not to roll our eyes. No, none of those things. But instead, we look to take care of one another in a spirit of kindness, gentleness, and reconciliation. And when we do those things, the kingdom of heaven is opened to us. And we are welcomed, not as slaves, not even as underlings, but instead as friends and as brethren and sisters. These are things to ponder. So may God bless you today and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.